It is on there like almost permanently. So we're just feeling safe with all these recalls going on. It's like there's three bolts and we're putting it back on the car. All right guys, here we go. All right guys, thanks again for joining us for Auto Addict. Welcome back to another channel. Welcome back to the vlog. All right, obviously, I'm not in my chipper ass mood because I made a mistake. I usually never, 33 years, I've never curbed a wheel in my life, ever curbed a wheel in my life until today. Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So, 33 years, I've never done this in my life. 33 years, and I'm proud to say it, but. At least I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 33 years. I've never curbed a wheel in my life. Oh my god. This is it's honestly, so embarrassing. I can't honestly, believe it. Honestly, I thought it was just gonna be like this big. I, I'm like embarrassed. First I'm embarrassed. Second of all, I'm just like hurt, like this car was looking perfect. I'm so mad right now. I curved it. Um, I don't know how it happened. I mean, Christine told me, my wife told me that um, when I was turning in and SUV was trying to leave and it was leaving wide, so I kind of compensated. She's making excuses for me. I've never done it and I'm like distraught. I can barely speak. My head is hurting. My stomach hurts. Um, I feel a lot of symptoms. It's not getting better until I fix this. So anyway, this is what the wheel looks like. That's the damage. As you can see, I curbed the f fuck out of it. I've never done this to a wheel in my life. It's embarrassing as hell. Even when I told the company that it happened, I had to tell them my wife did it. I mean, not that it matters, but you know, that's how bad. I just can't believe this happened. Like, it's so embarrassing. We're gonna do a whole bunch of maintenance to it. We have a whole bunch to do. I don't know what exactly we're gonna do today, but I'll just keep you guys posted in, in the loop. Uh, maybe we could do the headlights, get like one saving grace, like silver lining for the day. But um, if not, then I'll just go home depressed, you know? That's all. Hi right, guys, so Chris is trying to make me feel better and we're gonna go ahead and go install the lights. These are the spider lights I bought from eBay. Don't make fun of me, don't crucify me just yet. I usually never buy eBay parts, nothing against it. Usually just because of fitment issues, but I actually read good things about these lights. And on top of that, I get to preserve my OEM lights. So my OEM lights stay fresh, I get the look I want, damn near close to it. If anything happens when I'm done or tired of it, I switch back to OEM, all is well in the world. I paid $500 ship for these. I think I got a good deal, I think they look good. I Hopefully they function well, and if all that works well, I'm happy with it. You do lose um, the AFS, I think that's the automatic um, light steering basically. Um, you lose that functionality. Honestly, from driving the F80 to the E90, it's a world of difference with light technology. So the turning with the lights doesn't really help the Xenon. So the Xenons are as good as they can be, and they're gonna be same output with these as well. So the only difference is they don't turn with you. It didn't really help anyway from the get-go, so who cares? On the F80, the LEDs, they're a game changer. If you haven't tried them, especially coated in the um, anti-dazzle tech, that's worth it. That's when you know you're getting some real technology. It's going around cars, it uh, shuts off on oncoming traffic. It does a whole bunch of cool things. It turns with you, lights up the side streets. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and install these lights. Chris is trying to make me feel better because I am in a shitty ass mood. I literally just wanna like beat myself up, but I don't wanna look crazy and cause physical harm. So let's, let me show you these lights from eBay. If you take a look, it's got really good glass work. I like the side profile. I think it's gonna have little LED brakes. That's the only thing I never really liked about these. But for the price and the look, I think I could put up with it. And my biggest concern, I get to keep my OEM lights fresh. I don't have to damage them or give it to a company to mess around with. I'll always have these fresh. 
and then when I'm done with these, I can sell them. Maybe 350 ship. We'll see. And I think it's kind of funny because I paid 500 for these ship. I paid 160 or 80 for these bulbs. So these are the Lux bulbs. They're actually very good. I mean, the output is solid. I wish the outer rings got a little brighter, but for pictures and when it's rolling, it does look pretty full. So I'm really happy with them, but I wouldn't mind the little updated look. So I think keeping these fresh and keeping it with these bulbs, I'll always have the option to go back, but this is gonna be awesome. All right, you guys already know we got the car lifted on our favorite ramps right now. We're just feeling safe with all these recalls going on from Harbor Freight. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but it does feel safer. Looks like there's three bolts that we're removing here to get the front bumper out, and then we'll keep you posted on what else we gotta remove. I also removed these four Torx. All right, guys, now we remove the bottom bolts. These splitters are held on by silicon glue instead of double-sided tape, so it is on there, like, almost permanently. So we just had to clear it enough just to get the bumper off, but... When I take it to the body shop, they can remove it. They're gonna respray it. I might do the Euro and take out the reflectors, still debating that. Um, either way, it's getting repainted. I got a little bit of a mark on the other side. I'm not sure where it came from, rock chip. I don't know, I wanna fix it, make it perfect. Then, install the front lip. We'll already have the headlights on. The front should be perfect. The car should be done, except for the wheel. I'll figure that out and we'll go from there. All right guys, so now we're moving the five T30 screws on both sides so there's five here five here and that should free out the headlights and then we can start rewiring the new headlights in the bulb maybe no so guys you're gonna remove the four t30 uh torx on the hid ballast and then you're gonna transfer it over to the new lights. Seems pretty self-explanatory. They did tell me we had to reuse the rubber, rubber gaskets. guys here we go initial input light output is amazing quality is actually really good whoever's talking shit about these lights please try it before you talk because it looks amazing I'm not gonna lie like there's a little teaser right there woo the only thing that bothers me the most about these lights and I knew this before I even bought it is if you look at the individual LEDs you can see a little square cut on each one so that was the only thing that bothered me ever but honestly from a little distance and because the output's so bright and it's pretty close together you can't even tell unlike other the, these other lights I see on eBay so that's why I decided to go ahead and do it and this side profile is what sold me 100% love it what did you say Chris <laughs> what did you say you said no internet is gonna tell you what the fuck I just did. This internet's gonna tell him. <laughs> okay, that motor has been giving us the headlight adjusting, leveling, whatever, has been giving us trouble coming out of the OEM headlight. All of a sudden, it just pops out of place because Chris figured out how it was engineered there and he reversed it back out. It's not a straight pullout game, guys, so don't think it's that easy. <laughs> You're following? So now, now we're finally gonna have the headlights on perfectly. We already test fitted them, turned them on, they work. So really, this is the last piece of the puzzle and then we can put it back together. All right guys, so now we're putting everything back together in reverse order, basically the bracket on the headlight. Then we're putting it back on the car and then we'll do the final installation and I'll keep you guys posted. I'm not gonna re-show the installation because you already saw the uninstallation. So we'll put it back together. I'll show you the finished product. You remember how to drive? Huh? <laughs> Guys, this is 
excellent light output. We measured it and we got the height we wanted. What's up? <laughs> oh yeah. Guys, just take a look at this view. These lights are so freaking menacing. I love them. I don't know what people are talking about. So anyway, the only thing missing are these center caps. So I'm driving over to the shop. Might as well get a little cruise on. Picking up center caps, installing them, and calling it a day. But that's a wrap for this car. As always, guys, thanks again for tuning in, watching, and just following along. There's a ton more content coming in. There may be more project cars coming, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I got a bunch of other things to do first. Um, but stay tuned. Thanks, guys.